Time to find out if Jim Carrey's career is on ice. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Mr. Popper's Penguins. Who's responsible for this? Thought you were gonna stay in the car. Stay in formation. Hey, break formation! Why are you hitting yourself? Huh? Why are you hitting yourself? That's not attractive for a zoo official. Jim Carrey. Oh! Oh, that's not right! Pull yourself together. Your house is full of penguins. Now, while you might think you already know the answer to that question, Jim Carrey's fate is actually still undecided. Yes, he's had his recent flops, but in a comedy or a family movie, he can still bring in audiences. In fact, these movies would have been considered successes if it wasn't for the huge salary Carey was demanding, an albatross around the neck of all his projects. So much so that for Yes Man, Carey had to agree to no cash up front in exchange for 36.2% of the gross after the film's budget and marketing costs were recouped. Yes Man did okay, and while Carey might not have made tens of millions off of it, he certainly did okay as well. But most importantly, he's still in the game, not quite having become the new Robin Williams, another manic funny man that audiences can no longer stand to see, even when he's not being funny or manic. So will a bunch of penguins not only save Mr. Popper, but Mr. Carey as well? Mr. Popper's Penguins is a beloved children's book originally published in 1938, but the story has been changed significantly for the movie. Mr. Popper is now a successful businessman estranged from his family, and it takes an unexpected group of penguins to show him what's really important in life. Shades of the Santa Claus? 20th Century Fox sure hope so, but penguins aren't quite the Arctic stars that old Saint Nick is. Nevertheless, it certainly has a better box office shot than the original lineup for Mr. Popper's Penguins, who dropped out early in the game. The Greenberg team of Noah Baumbach and Ben Stiller. That film only made $6 million worldwide. However, perhaps families are in need of a breath of fresh air when it comes to the generic family comedy. Or maybe the Hollywood machine knows exactly what audiences want. Let's go find out. How was Mr. Popper's Penguins? It was awesome. It was incredible. It was oh. a great movie. Oh, that's great. What made you want to go and see it today? On my seventh grade class, we brought him here to see him. We oh. have like 90, we have 68 kids with us today. Wow. I'm studying birds for my class. Oh, you are? Penguins at all? Mm -hmm. Did, was the movie accurate? Yeah. It's a good movie. Good family movie. Good family values. Did your class enjoy it? I'm sure they did. They were quiet, so they <laughs> must have. Are you a Jim Carrey fan? <laughs> yeah? How did he do? Was he funny? Yeah. Oh, that's great. He's incredible. He's still good? He is still good. He hasn't lost it. What would you tell your friends about this movie? Hmm. That was really cool, and now I can know more about birds. And they like the music at the end because they're all dancers. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's perfect. Ice Ice Baby, right? Yes. So would you tell your friends to go see Mr. Popper's Penguins? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're, we do a 1 to 10 rating on this show. 10 is the best, 1 is the worst. What would you give it on a 1 to 10? Uh, nine. A ten. Oh, cool. You'd recommend it for taking? Absolutely. I think my kids would say a ten as well. Looks like penguins do offer redemption as audiences give Jim Carrey's latest movie a 9.5. And we're out here every week covering every major new release, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.